All right, so it says, what are the values of X, Y, and Z after the following code executes? So the way that works, um, so I'm basically gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing number four over here. Okay, so that's gonna work, the way that's gonna work is if we have X, we have Y, and we have Z. And basically what I'm gonna do is make a table of these and basically trace the variables, where they go, what the values are, and how they change each time, and I'm just keeping track of it. I'm essentially doing what a computer would do. This is the computational thinking part of it. Some of you can do this in your head, it's awesome. On a test, I wouldn't, especially if it's the AP test, but that's completely up to you. Um, so it says X is zero, so I'm just going through like a computer, first line of code, cool. Next line of code, Y is one, so I'm gonna put a one in there, cool. Then Z is two, I'm gonna put that in there, awesome. The next one, it says X minus minus, so we're just gonna be minusing one from what X already is, so let me do a different color here. So then that's gonna be negative one. Cool, so I have this line done. Then y plus plus, that's gonna add one to whatever y is. So I'm gonna put a two there. Cool, that's done. And then it says F, z is equal to z plus y. So z is equal to itself plus whatever y is. So you add those two together and then you get four, okay? That's called code tracing. Okay, variable trace, whatever. It's just looking through the variables. You're acting like a computer through it, okay? So you probably don't need to do it for that one. You probably don't need to do it for a lot of these, especially since this class is loaded with like the best of the best math people. Um, but just in case you ever want to like check your work, um, I always follow the old adage of always assume you're wrong. So that way you don't, um, that way you catch any mistakes you might make um, by writing it out like this. But you're the boss, do whatever you want to do. So if we do the second part here, uh, this number five. Um, so this one's a three, this one's a five, this one's a two. Um, X is equal to Z times two. So here's Z, we're multiplying it by two. So now X is four. Um, again, I'm right here, just in case you're following along. And then Y is equal to Y divided by two. So five divided by two is 2.5, but it's an int. So it's kind of a trick. This should be a two then. So five divided by two is 2.5, but you get rid of whatever the decimal is. So it just ends up being two for ints. I know not for real math, but this is for a computer. All right, and then Z equals itself plus one. Okay. And then like whatever you end with, that would be the answer for these. Um, but again, you can you can check these by just like copying and pasting the code into Java. Um, I'm just showing you code tracing so you know what to do on like quizzes and tests where you wouldn't be able to allowed to use the like, you wouldn't be able to program anything. It's just all pencil paper or pen paper. <laughs>